you were injured in an accident and you decide to make a claim for your injuries, now the other side is asking you for access to your social media posts. Really? Yes. Hang on for a few seconds and I'll try to make sense of how social media can impact your personal injury claim. Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino, an injury and accident lawyer and author of a guide to Florida car accident cases. Every day I receive requests from insurance defense lawyers similar to this, and I quote, if you have a Facebook account, please use the download your information feature of Facebook to produce a full copy of any and all information on Facebook. You can access this feature through home, comma, account, settings, comma, download a copy of your Facebook data, start my archive twice, and produce the electronic file in response to this request. You may be saying, this is pretty intrusive. Well, if you're injured in an accident, you have put yourself at issue. Some courts will allow this information, others will not, depending upon the issues in your specific case. The scope of discovery in personal injury cases goes like this. You have to provide the other side anything that is not privileged that can lead to the discovery of admissible evidence. So let me play devil's advocate for a moment. You're injured in a car wreck, and you claim that you hurt your neck and that you need neck surgery. On Facebook, there are photos of you water skiing or out dancing or possibly doing something really embarrassing. Arguably, shouldn't a jury be able to see the activities that you were able to perform after the accident? Here's my rule of thumb regarding social media. Before you post something on social media, ask yourself this question. Is this something that I would be okay with on a movie screen, sitting there with my mother, father, teacher, preacher, employer, or jury? If not, I probably wouldn't push the post button. If you have any questions about a personal injury matter, you can always give me a call directly on my cell or shoot me an email. I'm Guy DiMartino meeting you at the intersection of law and medicine.